Hey, it's Mark again, still not in the lab at VoIP Supply, but I am here to share with you a very interesting product from one of my favorite companies, Algo. If you're not familiar with Algo, they're a leading company in the intercom, paging, and alerting space. With that said, we're going to be talking about the Algo 8190S SIP Classroom Speaker. So what is this thing? The Algo 8190S was designed for schools or similar environments where alerting is an essential daily function. Think of it as the school classroom speaker of your past, but on steroids. In this video, I'm going to overview the Algo 8190S, show you how easy it is to configure, and demonstrate some pretty interesting functions. Okay, let's first talk about the specs of the 8190S. The Algo 8190S is powered by PUE, but PUE Plus IEEE standard 802.3 AT is recommended due to the max power consumption of 25.5 watts. You can expect between 5 and 8 watts when idle. Although you can successfully page to the 8190S using multicast, it supports many SIP accounts for various functions, such as playing pre-recorded messages or alerts. Also, some SIP accounts are used to cancel an alert or playing message. You can register over 20 accounts depending on your configuration and function usage. SIP via TCP or UDP as well as TLS and SRTP for encrypted signaling and audio is supported along with the G711 and G722 codecs. Check Algo's website, algosolutions.com for specific PBX and SIP server compatibility if you have concerns. As mentioned before, multicast RTP is supported as well as polycom group page and push to talk, all receive only. Single wire informacast is supported but requires an additional license. Configuration and provisioning of the 8190S is accomplished via HTTP, HTTPS, TFTP, or FTP. DHCP options 66, 150, and 160 can be used to point the 8190S to a provisioning server. For monitoring and supervision, SNMP is supported, or you can use an ALGO 8300 controller. In terms of speaker loudness, the SPL or sound pressure level at 1 meter was measured at 98 dBA, from the four inline speaker arrangement. There is an integrated omnidirectional microphone for talkback and ambient noise monitoring. Arguably, the party piece of the 8190S are the four colored lights, red, blue, green, and amber, that are able to be paired with alerts and announcements. Additionally, there is a built-in dry contact relay input and output for things like electronic door latches or call buttons. There's one gigabyte of storage space for uploading WAV files that can be customized messages, alerts, or tones, which can be managed through the web interface. A very nice high contrast clock that is synchronized with NTP sits on top of the unit with a back of the call button located all the way at the bottom. Overall, the dimensions of the Algo 8190S is 16 inches high, 8.25 inches wide, and three inches thick. Okay, let's talk about configuring the Algo 8190S. The first thing you want to do is open up your web browser and browse to the IP address of the device. Now, you'll probably find this in your network's DHCP server, but if you don't have access to that, you can actually hit the reset button on the back of the device and it will speak the IP address to you through the speaker. Now, once you browse to the IP address, I recommend using HTTPS, you'll be presented with a status page before logging in. It'll give you the status of uh, a couple of extensions that you might have registered. I have a configuration set up here already with a couple of extensions for functions. And you're also given some uh, status information, IP addresses, the date, the time, speaker settings. And uh, you're actually seeing a PoE Plus warning on the bottom here. Just because I don't have it plugged into PoE Plus, uh, it'll tell you you should use that if you want to use both audio and strobes. Okay, so let's get logged in. The default password is Algo, so we can go ahead and put that in. After logging in, you are brought to the SIP tab under basic settings where you'll start your configuration. You'll notice that uh, I already have a configuration that I set up for the demonstration, but I'll kind of run through this real quick. For SIP domain, this is the IP address of your IP PBX. I have a ring alert extension 6006 on my PBX and it's registered with the algo. Underneath it, I have a page extension 6007 and extension to dial is 6000. What that does is dials that number immediately once someone pushes the button on the bottom of the device. The other two extensions are for functionality where I can alert the device and I can page the device. Moving along to the features tab, there's not a lot to change here. These are all going to be pre-populated, uh, but, but they are changeable settings for inbound ring settings, uh, inbound page settings, outbound page settings, and audio processing. 
we can make some adjustments to our clock. We can change the, uh, the format, the brightness of the screen. The strobe's interesting because we can customize uh, the patterns that we want to show up. Um, highly customizable here. And multicast is going to be pretty important, especially if you have Polycom phones. And even if you don't, um, and your phones support multicast, you're able to broadcast audio to the speaker uh, with multicast. And Polycom has built in group page and push to talk. And I actually have this configured on my Polycom phone. And I'll, I'll show you how that works. It's pretty cool. With additional features, input output for our relays, or our, our relay input mode, we can uh, make some changes here. Output light, heartbeat light, just a little light that flashes on the screen. You can have uh, turned on or off. Output relay, and uh, we can choose whether or not we want the backlight to actually be lit. Emergency alerts, a couple of settings here. First one, this is a, this is an important one. Call to cancel. So if we're play, playing an alert and uh, we have the alert playing and we can have it set. So it plays until we dial a specific extension. Well, this is that extension. I have this registered on my phone system. So if I want to stop the alert, I dial 6008 or I actually have a speed dial on my phone. So I just hit a button to do that. And I do have one announcement configured here, extension 6009, and it plays a pre-recorded wave file. So there'll be some dogs barking when I dial 6009. I could also choose my strobe pattern that I showed you before where we can kind of configure what the strobe will do. Well, this is going to do a sparkle red when I dial 6009. We could also configure other announcements, but I only have the one configured for this demonstration. And then we have a couple here extras that we can do. These are not configured, but click enable and you can enter in specific extensions for these features. Moving along to advanced settings, we have our network settings tab, admin for any kind of uh, password changing, device name, logging, management, Time for our uh, NTP server configuration. Provisioning modes, how we want to provision this device. Advanced audio. Advanced SIP. If we want to use uh, TLS, we want to enable TLS SRTP, for example. Our NAT settings. And uh, some advanced multicast. System maintenance. We can uh, upgrade our firmware here and check for updates. Here's where we can actually manage um, the files on the Viago 8190S, uh, especially our uploaded tones and uh, custom WAV files. Here's where we can actually download and uh, install ringtones from the Algo server. Logging. And some information on the, the firmware And about firmware version is expected, your MAC address, hardware information. So as you can see, there's not a ton to the configuration of the Algo 8190S, but what's going to be important for the demonstration is here, the emergency alerts. I'm going to go through playing the announcement, canceling the announcement. I'm going to page the Algo. I'm just going to ring the Algo, and I'm going to demonstrate the uh, Polycom push to talk multicast. So let's take a look at the uh, physical unit, and we'll go through this demonstration. Oh wait, let me take care of something first. Yeah, here we go. So as you can see, there's a, a very big screen. We have the strobes on the right side and the left side, speakers down the middle, and we have our call button that's illuminated at the bottom here. Not much going on in the back here. We do have our 10100 PoE port and our relay control. And right there is the reset button used for doing a factory reset, or we can actually get the IP address of the unit by pressing on that. IP address is one zero dot one zero dot two zero dot one five six. IP address is one. Zero. Okay, it's it's not going to stop until you hit that reset zero button again. So let me hit that. Two, zero, dot, one, five, six. I just use a little tool like this to hit that. 
Okay, so let's demonstrate a little bit here. So if I want to play announcement one, remember that extension that uh, will play the, the dog noises? All right, now if I want to cancel that, I have to hit the cancel extension. So I have a speed dial on my phone for that. And I also have a speed dial for paging. One, two, three. And just to ring without an answer. Okay, here's the feature I really like, which is the built-in Polycom push-to-talk multicast. So this is a configuration on the phone itself. If you have Polycom phones, um, look through your, your manual or look for the interface on how to configure that. But I have it set up on the bottom here. So if I push and hold the push-to-talk, Hello, hello, one, two, three. Now I also have a group page button. So if I go back into the interface on the algo and I enable the group page, then that'll function. So let's try that real quick. Let me go back to the interface here. Okay, well, there's one more thing to mention here with the uh, illuminated call button on the bottom of the unit. And I showed you earlier that you could preset this to an extension. But well, one thing I discovered is if you're going to push this to an extension that no one is going to answer and there's voicemail enabled, you're going to get stuck in that voicemail. So I had to turn the voicemail off on this extension. But right now it's set to call my phone when I push this. And of course, if I, I don't pick it up and I have voicemail, it's gonna go to voicemail and you get stuck. But I could pick this up. Hello? So it's a useful feature. And that's what I have for you guys, the Algo 8190S. Uh, awesome product, awesome company. I've always liked Algo. Super easy device to configure. And if you have a need for a product like this, you should seriously consider it. Um, schools, hospitals, industrial manufacturing facilities uh there's definitely a use for this so i would really consider taking a look into it um if it if it looks appealing to you and you can see it has all kinds of great functionality very customizable so you know really give it a thought and as always thanks a lot for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe do all of the youtube algorithm things it helps us out a lot and be sure to visit voipsupply.com for great deals on voip supplies like phones and this algo 8190s again this is mark not in the lab at voip supply Thanks for watching this one time at VoIP Camp.